I'm sitting in the corner of the flood zone right now. And I realize there's been such devastation on the East Coast that I should not even consider this a tragedy. But I have to, as I look down and still see water pooling into my house well over a week after my dishwasher backed up. Almost two weeks now. Um, I meant to put a raincoat on. I thought that would have been funny, but I don't have my galoshes and my yellow matching raincoat. Um, I finally figured out the source of the problem yesterday. I had a contractor come over here. Actually, I'll back that up. It's two days ago. And uh, my next door neighbor came knocking and, and asked me if I had any water in my house. And of course, you know, being a single woman, I don't open the door all the way. But then at that point, I flung it open. And I go, you mean water like this? I'll pan in. Like about that. But I've already had to remove the carpet, the floorboards. And it's still pooling. You know, is this the water you're talking about, sir? So, uh, then he invited me over to his home, where he showed me, uh, where his water was pooling, which would be around his air conditioner, and then he showed me the, uh, PVC pipes and drainage bucket that he was currently using, and I noticed off to the side one piece of tubing, not a pipe, that went into the floor, and I asked him where that went to. So he ripped off his great thing, I don't know what it is. And we discovered it ran directly into my house. So, I know Scooty's going under there now. Oh, back in. oh God, there she goes. She's going in. Scooty, oh God. All right, she's fine. She's, we'll monitor that. We'll monitor that. Um. So at, at that point, this should be considered his fault. Because then when the contractor came over, somebody had drilled a hole through our walls. So his he didn't have his own proper drain in his side of the house, in his house. It's a connecting townhouse. For those of you who might be watching but never participate. Um, and... Yeah, somebody just drilled a hole through and then stuck their tube and how she's out now. It's fine. She's she's fine. She's out. Um at any rate, it's because of his air conditioner. So at that point wouldn't you think and after I had a contractor over here who talked to him, talked to my insurance agency, and yes, I realized this the drain needs to be snaked. But this contractor, and this is the whole reason for my posting and my sadness today, he told me that, you know, and he used to be a foreman for Qit and things like that and has a lot of contacts. And he said he could have the drain snaked because it's backed up because of my neighbor's air conditioning for approximately $80 and convinced my neighbor to pay for half of it. Now, actual cost, if I were to call a company, would be around $300. So I'm saving this asshole quite a bit of money by getting somebody else to come over here and do it. In the meantime, while he's running his air conditioner, the shit is piling up on my floor. I have a shop back over in here that I have to keep pulling out. Scooty's back in the goddamn hole. Um, but one would think, now granted, I realize it needs to be snaked, but he's the reason it needs to be snaked. Rather than bothering me because the guy's going to be cheaper, don't you think he would hire someone to do it himself? And, oh, and not bother me about it? Oh, God. Scooty's over here and just flicked water in my eye. Hi. Hi. Um... Or, to 
be a little bit courteous and to help him with his water pooling problem, you would think he would pull the goddamn hose from his side and filter it somewhere else. But no, that's not happening. He's just asking me, when's that cheap guy going to come over and snake the drain? Okay. So that puts me back in contact with the contractor. And again, my real reason for posting. The guy seems, obviously knows what he's doing. Going to cut me a very good deal and convince the insurance company to pay for everything. And Nick will know this, including my little bathroom. I'm going to get new tile on the entryway, new walls, new floor in the kitchen. But in my correspondence with this gentleman, it started to make me a little uncomfortable because the uh, first time I called him was on Saturday. And he said that uh, he didn't want to come over over the weekend because he had his son. Had his son which then to me means like a divorce type situation. So I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. And uh, didn't really think much of it then. But when he came over and it took him an hour and a half to assess the damage, which, I mean, there's really not that much. If you think about it, it doesn't take an hour and a half to give an estimate. But then also in my correspondence with him today, with the uh, him and the insurance adjuster, it turned a little flirty. So the fact that, you know, obviously his son, so he's divorced or maybe never married, threw up the flag that he might be single. But then, you know, I'd ask him, because the neighbor is hounding me about when are we going to get this drain snake. And so I had to text him and say, you know, thank you for talking to the insurance guy. This is when he's coming over. Hey, and by the way, when is the snake guy coming? And then that turned into, well, I left him some messages, but he hasn't gotten back to me. I can come over and do it for you, but it'll cost you a running rum and coke. And I said, well, that's reasonable in my head. That's reasonable. Agreed to that. And then it kind of turned into... It can't be over the weekend because I want to get my groove on. And then he asked me what I was doing for Labor Day. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I don't want somebody who's being all flirty in my house doing these repairs that are going to cost some money. You know, here, you can look at my crotch and scooby. My flood pants. So I'm just very discombobbled right now with the whole flooding situation at the Meadows. And again, I realize Irene indubitably did much more damage, but it's very, to those of you who don't know me and refuse to post, so really I'm just addressing my brother. I don't like, I like my privacy, and I don't like intrusions or anything out of the norm. Yes, a little OCD, admittedly so. Um, kind of depressed. But I don't want somebody, some contractor coming over here trying to get my pants. It's, that certainly is intrusive. But I felt this was the forum to complain it to people about, not that anybody cares or will respond, it's my deal for the day. I hope my brother can still walk after his move, and I hope the movers didn't dig him over, and I hope everything's properly in place, because as, once again, we can all see, nothing is in its place right at this moment, except for Pippi, she wants to take a swim, she wants to go swimming, get her goddamn life vest on.